Yes, peanut butter. How many of you guys right now always have peanut butter? I'm a peanut butter fanatic. I'm a peanut aficionado. I love peanuts. Bye bye. Adam's dark roast. Have you seen this yet? When you're eating peanuts, right? And you get some of the darker ones. Oh, wow. That one has so much flavor. I hope I get another one, right? That's all they use in the Adam's dark roast. So look for it at your grocery store. It's amazing. But you look at the ingredient list, two ingredients, peanuts and salt. That's it. I'm going to tell you something that might make you upset. So I apologize ahead of time, but I'm telling you because I love you and I'm concerned about you and I'm concerned about your health. Never buy unnatural peanut butter because it's one of the worst things for your health. It's one of the worst things for your heart. Ask your doctor if you don't believe me. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. So a little disclaimer there for you. I'm just a chef, but I do know this that if you look at an unnatural peanut butter, what do I mean by unnatural? I mean, one that doesn't need refrigeration, one that has more than one or two ingredients, right? And you just keep it in your cupboard, you take it out and you spread it on your toast, spread it in your sandwich, you put it back in a cupboard because it doesn't require refrigeration. That should be your first alarm bell going off. But if you look at the ingredient list on an unnatural peanut butter, this one, freshly roasted peanuts, all the marketing makes it sound so great. Oh, freshly roasted peanuts are in this one. I'm going to buy this one. What a load of malarkey. Next ingredient, icing sugar. Next ingredient after that, corn syrup solids. Next ingredient in that, modified palm oil, then salt, and that's it. When you see modified oils of any kind, modified palm oil, modified vegetable oil, stay away from it. Or it'll say hydrogenated palm oil or vegetable oil. It means they pump hydrogen into it. And it makes it into the consistency of lard, that oil. It helps to, again, require no refrigeration. It's nice and thick and you can spread it on your toast or your sandwich. Ask your doctor, should I be eating modified palm oils or hydrogenated palm oils? No, or vegetable oil? No, you should not. Most margarine soup will have that in there. Look at your ingredient list, all natural ingredients, folks. So if you have regular peanut butter and that's all you've eaten is regular pe peanut butter, don't get mad at me. Thank me instead, because you're now going to make the switch. When I ask people, how come you don't buy natural peanut butter? You know what they tell me? Look at the oil on the top. There it is, man. I got to stir all that oil in there. My life is too short to stir oil. <laughs> or they say, oh, I got to keep in the fridge and it's all hard and it rips apart my bread or my toast. I can't do that. So you're going to sacrifice your health instead? It doesn't make any sense. So what I want you to do instead, if you're making a piece of toast, this is really simple. You got a toaster oven. You have your toast. It comes out as warm. Take a cold knob of your natural peanut butter on each right? A big scoop, put it back in the toaster oven, just off, just with the warmth of the residual heat of the toaster oven for 30 seconds, pull it out, it's soft, you spread it. You're done. Problem solved. If you're not using a toaster oven, you're using a regular, you know, vertical toaster, or you're making a sandwich and it's not using a toaster at all, then just take a little bit, zap in your microwave for 10 seconds. Problem solved. You're done. And I've just saved you how many grams of trans fats? Now you might pull out your regular unnatural peanut butter and, and look at the ingredient list. Hey, hey, look, there's no trans fats in here. It doesn't say anything about trans fats. Here's a loophole that manufacturers get away with. They're allowed to put ingredients in there and not tell you about any trans fats. They could actually say on the label if they wanted to, trans fat free. Wow, I gotta buy this one's trans fat free. I gotta buy that one. And what they're doing is they're deceiving you because they're allowed to by law. In every serving, not container, okay, in every serving, they can have, as long as they have less than 0.5 of a gram of trans fats per serving, they don't have to tell you about it. So if you had, so what's one serving of peanut butter? That's two tablespoons. So if you had two pieces of toast and four tablespoons of peanut butter, if you ate that for a day, every day for a month, by the end of the month, you'd have almost 30 grams of trans fats going into your body. And you're thinking you're having none because of your willingness to just have a convenient peanut butter from your cupboard. Don't do it, folks. Don't. I'm telling you now. So get rid of this. Look for this at your store. Buy this stuff. It's really good. Oh, what I do for stirring that. So when you first get that, the oil, you'll see it separates. So what I do when I buy it, I'm at the grocery store. I'll actually put it in my cart upside down. When I get it home, I take it out of my cart or my bag and I put it in the cupboard upside down. It only needs to be refrigerated once you open it. So what that does, it brings the oil from the top of the jar, right? Closer to the center or the bottom, depending on how thick the jar is. And then you take your lid off and then I use a butter knife. And instead of getting a spoon and trying to stir it, it's full and you're going to spill everywhere. I stab it in, in, in the center and I go up and down with the knife. It's not creating any swirling motion. It's just up and down like a plunger. And that's going to help get the oil in. Once the oil is fairly mixed in, 
Then I will take it and start scraping around the side and that natural movement will just sort of blend it in. And once it's blended in, just refrigerate it. And you don't need to ever, it won't ever separate again. Once it's cold, it's done once only and it's worth it. I'm telling you, so much better flavor and so much better for you. 